Wow, so quarantine fling. He met someone and he fell in love instantly. Parang instant noodles, ganon. Instant oatmeal. Like what Chamba is eating. Hey guys, this is Leonie Me once again and welcome back to my channel. So yes, I'm up for another video and for today's vlog, it's gonna be a reaction to a Moira song. And I'm thinking of making a reaction on the comments that get viral too. And yeah, well, I'm gonna be doing that while I'm eating. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. But before that, please do subscribe to my channel. And don't forget the notification to hit the notification bell button so that you'll get notified when a new vid comes out. So, click here and let's get started. I was listening to Moira's new song, Paubaya, and these comments broke my heart, literally. And, <coughs> magkakomment tayo. My ex fiance and my sister is getting married next month. I don't know what to feel until I hear this song, na mas nakakadurog pala na kapatid ko yung iba. Kasa nagkaroon siya ng iba. Ngayon ko lang nalabas yung sakit, yung iyak at luha ng ilang buwan kong kinimikin. Para akong naging tulay para makilala nila isa't isa. Sa akin siya nangako ng kasal. Sa akin siya lumuhod. At yung sinuotan niya ng singsing pero kapatid ko ang hihaharap niya sa altar. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 So, we can say na, you know what? That guy doesn't deserve it. He deserves someone better. na nangako na siya sa'yo tapos lahat-lahat ng yun pinaasa ka na niya ng lahat-lahat makakarit out ako dito nakabasa niya ang permission to break my silence story ko. Parang relate naman ano? Oo. Relate. What's worst about this story is kapatid niya. Yung gusto niya magalit pero kapatid niya at the end of the day. Gusto niya mag-move on. While listening to this song, he's right next to me, peacefully sleeping while hugging me. Pero alam ko na di ako ang mahal niya. We're not really committed, but to cut the short story short, I got pregnant. That is really one thing that I'm so thankful for. Na hindi nangyari sa akin. Doon din ako kumuha ng lakas ng loob dati when I was dealing with that heart heartache. 
sabi ko na lang, Lord, thank you. Kasi hindi mo hinayaang um, magkaroon ako ng anghel sa kanya. Knowing kung ano talaga siya and his past. So, yun. Parang nakatulong yun yung sangkay na um, blessing. Kasi, what if ganun nangyari? Nabuntis ako, tas ganun. Parang, basta. Alam niyo na yun. But, continue tayo dito. He's in love with someone else, pero ako yung nauna. Especially if may, may makikilala kang bago. Pero siguro if if that person um, makes God as a center of, of his life. When our lives become God-centered, His will becomes our heartbeat and begins to align with our deepest desires. Hindi ito mangyayari yung mga ganitong mga party, ganun. Kasi alam niya na God is love and love is God. Anyways. Medyo ano din, malungkot siya. I was with him at his lowest but during quarantine na di kami nakita. Wow! So quarantine fling. He met someone and he fell in love instantly. Parang instant noodles, ganun. Instant oatmeal. Like what Samba is eating. It hurts so bad. I want to give my baby a complete family since hindi ko nakuha yan. <laughs> I think lahat tayo, we all dream of having a complete family one day. Wala namang may gustong broken family eh. Pero, there are really times na what's the point of being complete if the love is no longer present between the couple. There comes a time when you have to choose between turning the page and closing the book. Well, yeah. He's with me now, pero alam ko na di ako ang nasa isip niya. That's worse. While staring at him right now, I'm gonna let him go. For real. Okay. That's the spirit. Alam ko naman na no matter what I do, hindi talaga ako. Sakit nun. To the one I dearly love, T. Despite everything, I still want to thank you for giving me the best gift that I could ever have. Oh, of course. Few more weeks till I meet our little one. The titiri ay na ako. Ano ba? No. Um. Few more weeks till I meet our little one. I love you so much. I hope and pray for your happiness because if you deserve it. Thank you for making me happy. I will never forget you. I love you. Pinapaubayan na kita. To his happiness, please take care of him and love him wholeheartedly. Make him happy kasi ikaw lang yung makapagawa niyan. Aww. Um, yeah, ito yung sinasabi ko. Our 
relationship started when I comforted her when my boyfriend broke up with her on the day of her birthday. Things were happy at first. Things were happy at I used to remember the times that she used to tell me this lies and will love you until the end of galaxy. If you feel that the world is against you, you have me. And last month, she was only willing to stay when things were easy for us. And it was convenient for her to, to stay. And things were still exciting, but when the hard times came for us, she chose to end things with me, then stay, then stay. She told me that she just needed me, my, my help to move on. Wow. Drop it, girl. <laughs> um, where was that? She said she tried so hard to ignore her, her feelings for him, but it came to a point that it just exploded in the worst possible time. She can no longer help herself not to talk to him. And she told me that she will just focus on her duties in the church to clear off her mind. But the truth is, she only got back with her ex. Tanga. <laughs> um, okay. I'm not... I don't want to judge her, but... You not tell him any reason. Um... Yes, don't let the heart that didn't love you keep you from the one that will. Sinaktan ka na eh. Bakit mo pa binalikan para saktan ka ulit? Diba? Someone's already loving you right now and is willing to the love that was not given to you before in an ex Um, ito lang pala yung ano, si Kriko pag maanghang keep on talking mawawala rin siya If that person no longer loves you, come on. Let, let it go. Let them go. Let them find their, their happiness. If you love something, set it free. If it returns, it was meant to be. If it continues to fly, let it soar and have faith that God has something better in store. Um, kasi yung nangya, in my case kasi, yung nangya, hindi ko alam kung bakit ganun. Like, hindi niya naman sinabi sa akin na he no longer loves me. Until the day na nakipag-break siya, sinabi niya pa rin na ako lang yung mamahalin niya. And, paano ba yun? As a post po yun, nakita niyo yun dun, mga screenshots. So, yun. If only sinabi niya na, I no longer love you. And, I no longer care for you. Could have been different. Because honestly, I'd rather be hurt by the truth than protected by a lie. So, ito. Reminded me of the love I thought I deserved but I didn't. God knows how much you wanted it to work, pero napunta sa wala. Kasi no matter what I did, hindi talaga ako. No matter how much I showed you deserve, you deserve me. Sa kanya pa rin uwi mo. Wow. Nevertheless, I'm grateful you hurt me and chose to let me go because after two years, I'm here, love, taking care, 
all happier than ever. Ini sih sabi ko, someone will come along. Na, mamahay ka talaga. Nang buong buo. Sana nga yun. Be with someone who will take care of you not materialistically, but take care of your soul, your well-being, your heart, and everything that's you. Um, ang tanging hiling ko lang sa kanya, wag kang palayan alagaan ka niya. Speaks to me because that's what you told me when you knew I gave up. I gave up on you na because someone who I deserve more than you did already occupy the space in my life. Now, all I wish is your happiness as much as you wish for mine. If you see this, know that I have forgiven you already. Dapat talaga. Hindi naman kasi maganda yung magkip ka ng mga grudges. And no reason para hindi ka mag-forgive ng mga tao na kasakit sa'yo. It will just, like, give you um, anxiety. Um, ano ba? Kasi If you are going to ask me If napatawag ko na siya Sobrang matagal na Yeah, I don't wanna I don't, I'm not a kind of person Grudges And It's just gonna bother my peace of mind Just bother pa rin na But not because of him But Because of What's going on right now? This pandemic is really killing my mental health. To forgive, to forgive is the highest, most beautiful form of love. Of love. In return, in you'll return, receive and told you'll receive peace and, and told peace and happiness. Um, padayon, padayon, future doctor or ba? Ini encourage niya. I'll be cheering you. I'll be cheering for you as you reach the dreams you once talked about. God bless. P.S. Yes, if you're reading this, let your heart rest for you will be all right soon. Game it. Yeah, that is so true. Yes, guys. All you have to do is just love yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on your self growth. And you don't you really need have to find someone else. Right away. Ah. Um, just enjoy. Pagawin mo ang kamagahanap ka agad-agad. Well, nasa, nasa moving on stage ka pa, or hurting stage ka pa, healing stage ka pa. It's not gonna work. You're just gonna end up hurting yourself, or the two of you. So, mangyayari dun, mandadamay ka pa ng ibang tao. Give your heart a break, and you are giving your whole self a favor. And lastly, love when you're ready, not when you're lonely. The lyrics hit my soul. She was a kind of girl that burned my heart in pain. I've waited her for many years. He has a boyfriend. That time, they're in two and a half years, but this is a 2018 they broke up. Each day I'm creating a poem and I also created a song for her, but when I confess my feelings for her, she said she's not ready. I understand, but a month have passed, someone got her heart. That day I really didn't, I want to delete you in my life. Every day I feel exhausted and I feel the pain in my chest. Ang sakit pala pag yung tao, hinihintay mo ng matagal, may iba na palang mahal. Rejection doesn't mean you aren't good enough. It means the other person failed to notice what you have to offer. I believe ko. On the other side, mas masakit pa rin pala yung love, time, and effort na sinayang ko, naawa ko sa sarili ko. You know what? Huwag kang maawa sa sarili mo. Be proud of yourself dahil nagkaroon ka ng lakas ng loob to tell her, to tell her how you feel about her and one day, someone will walk into your life and make you see 
why it never worked out with anyone else. Did that girl? Um, sorte niya. Pinahal mo siya. Sometimes din kasi guys, pag naglalahad kayo ng mga feelings niyo sa girls. I don't know how, but for me, we don't want to pinay kasi tayo, di ba? Pinay napapakipag-pakipag pa. Unlike mga foreigners, I mean, Leia, yung prangka kong prangka. So, given na pinay tayo, ganun yung malimit sinasabi. Na lang na, I don't, I don't like you. But yung sinasabi is, I'm not yet ready. Because you really gonna have to be very more observant on that word. Yeah, yun yung nangyari sa kanya. Yes, Nadiyan siya na I'm not yet ready. Pero sa totoo pala yun, hindi talaga siya gusto. Yun. So, we just don't want to hurt your feelings. And as much as possible, we want you guys to figure it out. Parang ganun. Kasi nga, masakit ang sabihan na hindi kita gusto. Given na, nagsabi ka na, eh, gusto ka na. Parang, ganda-ganda ako, no? Parang ganun. So, sa, sa akin na rin, ganda-ganda ako, no? So, hindi na hindi kita gusto. Ganun. So, yun. Makakahanap ka rin, kuya. was the first love but never the soulmate and got his back supported him when he had nothing. Nung naabot na, na, na niya yung pangarap niya, naiwan ako. He left me with nothing. Now he's happily married with his soulmate. It has been eight years but until now yung pain and dito pa. I just rebuilt myself from the ground and I never loved again. <gasps> that was worse! Eight years? Na kayong wala? Kasal mo siya? Kausapin to siya. Ang sayang, I mean, ang dami niyang sinayang time na dapat happy siya or ganun. Naglulong pa siya for, for that person. Well, I'm not judging her, pero, girl, life is too short for you not to enjoy the things na ang ganda-ganda. The trouble is, we think we have time. We all deserve to live a life well lived, a life full of joy and free from the past. Ako yung kasama pero hanap mo siya. Ako yung pansamantalang pinili kasi ako yung malapit. Pero sa huli, ako rin yung iniwan kasi hindi talaga ako minahal. Guys, don't settle for less. Know your worth always. Nakasad naman yung mga ganitong story. The hardest love to forget is the, the love that never happened. Um, ito yung mga torpe, tama ba? Yung mga walang guts, hindi nagka-guts na sabihin, hey, mahal kita. Mahal mo rin ba ako? Mahal ba? Mga Pero, you know what? Pagsisisihan mo talaga yung mga ganun eh. Kung ano yung feelings mo, kung ano yung nararamdaman mo, let that person know. Because you will never know. Oras mo na pala. Time for you to climb up na pala. Hindi mo man lang nasabi na mahal mo siya. Malay mo, mahal ka rin niya. Ano ba? Always tell someone how you feel. Because opportunities are lost in the blink of an eye, but regret can last for a lifetime. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Um,
Selamat, 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 selamat